Is the TAF getting worse? We decided to investigate. A few weeks ago, CUTV News ran a survey to find out what you thought about food and service in the TAF. The results are in, and we made some interesting findings. When asked about quality of food, the TAF scored an average of 59%. One respondent said the availability of food needed improving, while another claimed the food itself was abysmal, describing the lasagna as bland and horrible. Others were more positive, including praise of the food actually being pretty nice. The focus then shifted to quality of service, which divided students, scoring 59%, the same as food. Someone claimed they had to wait 45 minutes for wedges, while it was also pointed out that service often seemed confused, with team members not aware of what was going on. That said, other people praised the TAF for a usually quick food service. Finally, we asked whether people thought the TAF provided value for money, and it was rated 67% overall. Despite this, one person remarked that it was ridiculous that the place for food in the Students' Union is more expensive than loads of places in town. Our results show that the majority of students are satisfied with the TAF, but there is definitely room for improvement. Among other comments, one student called for the TAF to be shut down, while another said the music was too loud. At the same time, there was some positive reaction to the TAF's recent refit and its convenience. To find out how the TAF is responding to student feedback, CUTV's Olivia Thomas spoke to Venues Manager Casey Standen. So what is the union's response to the student feedback about the TAF? Well, we welcome all feedback and we offer different ways to give feedback. So we've got a suggestion box throughout the building now, which works really well. We've got comment cards as well. Um, we've also got supervisors on shift, which was different from last year because it was just team leaders. So they can refer any feedback back to the management team as and when, and we do aim to get back to them as soon as possible. From feedback last year, we have now offered halal meat, which has been great for, for the tab and for the other food outlets as well. Yeah. So have there been any negative feedback so far this year? Um, it hasn't been brought to my attention any negative feedback. I think there's always room for improvement. Um, I think that's in any business, unfortunately. We can't be 100%. We always want to be. I mean, satisfaction, we always aim to do 100%. But in the business we're in, unfortunately, that doesn't happen every day. But that is certainly the aim, though. Um, what improvements are there going to be in the future to the TAP? Well, from feedback from students, we're looking to, next term, have all the allergy information on the menus, which I think is really important for you know, gluten-free and vegetarians and you know, having more options as well. So, like For example, the Christmas menu this year, we've got gluten-free options. We've got the sorbet for students that are gluten-free. So, um, and other um, improvements, so we're looking at doing the Christmas menu. So we're offering Christmas melts this year, we're also offering Christmas cocktails. So in terms of seasonal offers, we're looking to expand on that. Like for rugby, for example, we've got different menus to make it easier for, for everyone watching the game. So it comes in takeaway boxes as well, so it's just easier for them to move around. From student feedback as well, we have now got the Welsh menu in the TAV. As you might have seen in the TAV, we're off offering a daily menu from the Carberry unit. So this is more of a convenient way for students to, if they're in a rush, come out the front, get served, quick, convenient, and they can take their food away as well. So that's working really well, and it's at a cheaper price as well. So it's at from 3 45 we're offering different specials every day, Monday to Friday. So have you had any complaints about the pricing being too high then? Is that why you've decided to change? No, there's been no complaints in regards to the price, but we've wanted to make it easier for students, to make it more convenient for them. So if they don't have time to sit down for, for a pub meal, they've got the option to have, have the food, but to take it away to their lectures as well. Yeah, okay. Is there anything else that's going to be improved or...? Um, we're always looking to improve. I mean, every term there's going to be new adjustments to the menu, so next year we're going to have different changes to the menu. So any feedback that we'll get from students will certainly address that. Okay, right. Thank you. Thank you. It would seem that the TAF is making changes, but whether these changes will lead to a better experience for students is yet to be seen. Let us know what you think about the TAF by tweeting at Cardiff Union TV. Kieran Lewis, CUTV News.